Welcome back to the channel. This is the Extra Time, the headquarters of all European news with match review, statistics, history, match analysis, and prediction as well. Being the EPO de la Liga, Bundesliga, French League A, and Italian Serie A. If you are new here, well, you know what to do when you have a fan of betting prediction. If you like to predict all the games in the betting sites, in the next coming up videos, I'll be doing a video breaking up all the match predictions of this year's Champions League match to one. All the matches here, I'll be giving you the match statistics between all the two things, the head to head and the current form. So that if you're a fan of betting, you can predict and have your way in it. So if you, you love the idea of looking at all the history behind the teams in the match day one and ask your subsequent games, please do well and subscribe and click on the notification bell icon so that you get notified each and every single time I release a match prediction video. Now going on today out here, we are all gathered here watching our screen for the very great the Champions League returning back and today we'll be discussing each and every single thing you need to know about the UCL Group D. We've done match prediction of Group A, B, C, D, now actually we are on Group E. We'll be telling you everything you need to know about Group E, all the teams there, their history, their head to head, their current form, each, I mean, everything you need to know. Stay tuned. Now, the first team on the list, I'm going to take a look about this Chelsea. Well, Chelsea have won the UCL once. It's been a long time, thanks to Drogba. We know the emphatic win they had at the Munich Stadium against Bayern Munich. Uh, Chelsea going, I mean, up from a defeat, they equalized, and actually the penalties, Drogba winning it for them. That's the last time Chelsea won the UCL, and they've been out of the Champions League for some time. They, they feel to qualify for some years now and this season they are back last season they couldn't make it but this season they are back in the UCL and they are ready they've got a lot of sign I'm not gonna you know the kind of players Chelsea have got into their squad they have the services of Timo Werner, Kayavet, Hakim Ziyech and now their new goalkeeper Mendy their problem was actually the goalkeeper Kepa Arizabalaga was not living up to expectation the kind of transfer fees that they took from him from Atletico Bilbao to uh, Ch the Stamford Bridge Chelsea he didn't live to that expectation so they have to bring the young talent talented goalkeeper in the person of Mendy to fill in that goal position. So they are back here this season Champions League. They are not going to go down without a fight. They will be doing everything possible. Last season we saw them the last time they in the UCL. We saw them in a very competitive group with Valencia and the others lost and then they, they did well. But this season they are back here and they are facing a very competitive side. So they are doing everything possible to make sure they make it to the round of season of the, of the competition. Now the next team on the next is not other, no other than the almighty Sevilla. Sevilla is on a very very good form at the moment. They are very very good in when it comes to Spanish La Liga and the Europa League is their favorite. They've won the Europa League six times more than any other team in the Europa League. This, the Champions League is what they've been struggling to win for itself quite a long time. They've not won the Champions League before but when it comes to Europa League, they've won it more than any time, any other team. They won, they've won six times in the Europa League and this is in the, in the Champions League as well. They'll be doing everything possible to make. They have a lot of players in there. They have a very good striker. Look at John. They have Munia Hedari. They have Ivan Rakete, they have Jesus Navas, and a very, very competitive defense. They don't, they don't consider a lot of goals. We saw them in the Super Cup games against uh, against Bayern Munich. We saw how competitive that game was. Coming out from a deficit of one goal, uh, Bayern Munich equalized, and now when it turned out they won the game. So Sevilla is a very good team. You, you guys should be keeping eye on when you are betting. You should know when you should bet. They don't, they don't consider a lot of goals. So when you are playing Sevilla games, you you should not expect over 4.5 on the year. They don't consider goals at all. They are very good defensively and they score goals that were not a lot of them but look at the young and Munia that they combined can guarantee you the goal. A very interesting match I'll be looking forward to is Chelsea versus Sevilla at the Stamford Bridge. You know Sevilla are very good when they are playing away so we will be looking forward to see Chelsea and uh, Sevilla compete and battle out for the top. I, I think this is a, these are the two teams that are going to compete for the top place in, a, in a, this group. Actually they have a lot of good teams there but I think Sevilla and Chelsea will be standing out and we will be taking all the points that necessary. Now the next team on the, on the list is Rene. Okay, surprisingly Rene have been on good form this season. They've been really prominent in the French League A. They are on the top five there. If you're watching them, their last games have been really, really good. They have quality, quality players. They don't score a lot of goals. They are really, really poor in midfields and they are doing everything possible. They've not done any additional signing this season because of their league was cancelled and the, I mean, when the league was cancelled, there was no money coming out from supporters at the stadium so they couldn't sign a lot of players this season but they have done anything possible they are in very 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 good form in the uh, French league uh, that's why since last season they made it they qualified ahead of Olympic Lyon that shows you how determined they are to play the Champions League they've not been in the Champions League for a long time I don't even know if they've been in it before but this season they are here and they will do anything possible you know teams like this are uh, they have nothing to lose and they go in all in and all out so if you're a big team in this group and you think you're gonna just call them and have your win you should be careful you have no idea what this team are gonna bring but I'll not be surprised to see them making a 
squeezing uh, Europa League qualification or even trying to make it to the champion, it's going to be so difficult to have a team like Chelsea and Sevilla in your group and to qualify ahead of them. So if I'm supposed to pick a team or uh, I mean a position for Rennes, I would think there can be the third. So I mean the Europa League qualification will not be bad for them, but they can. This is the UCL. We've seen a lot of upset in the previous years, and I would not be surprised if they make it to the Champions League qualification as well. Now the last team on this group is Grasnodar from Russia. They made it third in the Russian league last season. They've done really well. They were behind Tennis St. Petersburg and uh, Lokomotiv Moscow. They are here in the Champions League and they have been doing everything possible to make their name for themselves. So Grasnodar is not a team. They, they, they've, not, they've, not won, they've not won any competitive European competition before. Neither have they won any competitive domestic league before. So this season they've done a lot of correction. They are determined to make a name for themselves. They are determined to do anything possible to make it to the round of season or at least having a Europa League qualification at town. So they are determined. It's going to be super, super difficult for them. They are a team that people will be writing them off because if you're on a team with groups like uh, Sevilla, Chelsea and Rennes, it's going to be really, really difficult for you to make your way into the round of season of the Champions League. I will not be surprised if they don't make it to the Europa League qualification. So I'm supposed to predict I'm going to go for Sevilla and Chelsea making it to top two and Rennes third qualifying to the Europa League. Alright, this is all I have to tell you about Group E of the UCL 2020-2021 edition. This is Group E. I've told you everything, the history and statistics behind all the four teams. And I, as I said earlier, if you're a fan of Betwin, this is the best channel for you. Do well and subscribe and click on the notification bell icon so that when I release match prediction videos, you'll be the first to get notified so that you can. I, I would love to hear from you. So you please scroll down to the comment section and let me know what you think of this video and what you'll be expecting from the match prediction video. It's going to be tough. I'm ready. I'm doing the history i'm doing the research about all the teams they head to head and i'll let you know in the comment please stay tuned like this video if you really enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video